go to bed each night, odds are you lock the deadbolt on your front door, right? It's always been a reliable line of defense against intruders. Till now. Last year, a video hit the internet of crooks showing other crooks how to render your deadbolt useless in just a matter of minutes. And no one knows how the criminals are doing it better than safety expert Bob Stuber. He's back on our show to tell us how the bad guys can get past your deadbolt and easy ways you can stop them. Thanks for joining us, Bob. Good to have you back again. My pleasure. Always great to have My you pleasure. here. All right, let's let's look at this straightforward. Yeah. What is this internet video all about? What are they doing? You know what? Lock bumping is what it's called. It's been around for a long, lock long time. Bumping. Lock okay. bumping. And it's a technique that locksmiths have used for years. It's a way to get into a house, you know, if somebody's lost their keys. Well, what this guy did was he stuck it on the internet because it's very easy. Anybody can make a bump key mm -hmm. and it'll open up just about any door. Well, the criminals got it. Everybody got it. They gravitated to it. Now, what we have is a situation where, where uh, home invaders, burglars, rapists, child molesters, everybody has picked up on it, which has basically made deadbolts ineffective. All right, let's look at this. This is a regular deadbolt right here. Explain this, what we're talking about. This is just your regular, regular deadbolt. You know, you, you, you lock the door with it. That's it. And this pin comes out. Now, deadbolts have been the front line of home safety for decades Yeah, because it makes the door stronger. You can't bash it the door. It makes it right. stronger. So what, what uh, I'm not going to show everybody how to make a bump key. Yeah, we don't want to do what we just told people we don't want to do. That's right? Right. Yeah, right. But suffice it to say, I've got one right here. So you made that. I made this. This is just a blank key, and I took a file to it, did just what the guy on the Internet said to do. I can put it in here. Then I have to bump it as I turn it, and I can open the the door. So I don't know if you saw what he just did. All you did was just bump it bump on the it, top. And that drops the pins. There you go. Now I can do that to anybody's house, any deadbolt. Really? So your deadbolt Everybody is feel not safe keeping now? you safe. <laughs> All right. Now, there's another thing, a, a, a technique that, that has also gotten very popular since the lock bumping situation hit, and this is even easier, and this is drilling. You know, you couldn't do this before because cordless drills weren't really that popular. But, but now, now thieves can take these around with them. Here it is, right? You've got a cordless drill, right. and if you were in your house, in your bedroom sleeping, you're not going to hear this. That's very quiet. Especially the way I sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't hear it if I was asleep in a chair next to the door. Right. You're not going to hear that. All you do is put, you, you drill right through the deadbolt. So you're now, just going right through the front of the deadbolt you drill right, through? Right through the front of the deadbolt. It takes about a minute and a half to two minutes. But once that happens... And you just got a dime sudden, there, but you just put a dime. Yeah. All that happens is you've, again, dropped the tumblers, and I open this with a dime. And these are high-security deadbolts. Now, I'm not giving the bad guys any ideas because they all know about it already. Right. But what I want to do is, is show everybody a solution all to right, this so because there wasn't one. Everybody scared now? Good and scared? All right. So how do we, how do we get this solved so they can't do this to us? You know, the, the thing is that it's, it's always about simplicity. And I've always said that for years right, is right. that safety is about common sense and simplicity. A little company in Tennessee came out with this product right here. It's called the Lockjaw. That's all there is to it. It's one moving part, but it's amazing in its application because you, you put it on. It costs about 19 bucks, something like that. That's all you Wait do. Wait a minute. This is just super simple. So basically, it doesn't allow this to turn because it comes down on top That's of it. That's it. Try to turn it. I mean, you cannot turn it. There, you try it. Yeah. I mean, it won't, so it doesn't matter if you're able to lock the tumblers no. because it won't do it from this it end. It doesn't matter if it's drilled. It doesn't matter what you do. So instead of having to get rid of all your dead bolts, and, and back up and try something else, you, you get this lock jaw and put on there, and now you've just made a mediocre deadbolt a very, very expensive, high-security deadbolt. So how easy is this to install? I mean, can I do it? Or? This, this is installed with double-sided tape. That's it? So double-sided tape over here? Double-sided tape. That's all you need. You can't, you, can't, you can't bypass this thing. I've tried every way you can imagine. And it's amazing. Now, there's all these high-tech things out there. You can spend a lot of money trying to be safe. Alarms and cameras and all this stuff won't make a difference. But here we go. Something nice and simple drops down, problem solved. And, and now, the point is, everybody has to consider my deadbolt is compromised. There's only one thing to do about it. So the it. deadbolt is still good. This just makes sure it can't be compromised. The, exactly. Uh, the, the deadbolt is compromised because the bad guys know how to do it now. Right. You have to assume that. So now you have to modify. You have to step up like the criminals have done 
and add something like and, this to and it. And there's no way they're going to be able to get around this because you'd have to get into the door to get it. You can't do it. No, you can't do it. And plus, you preserve all the features of the deadbolt you have where they can't kick the door in because of this nice big pin and everything. You know, when all this hit the Internet, there was one company that makes real high security deadbolts. They're the ones that are on the White House right. and on the Pentagon. And, and some guys from MIT a couple of weeks ago figured out a way to bypass theirs. Well, you know, Homeland Security and, and just that loves that, the Bob. Yeah. Judy's got a question. Go ahead. Yes, thank you. We are full-timers in our motor home. Can we also use this? to protect uh, our deadbolt? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It works on any type of deadbolt that has the, the knob and right since here. it's double stick tape, it's not going to be a problem because you can stick it on anything, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You really don't have to drill it in like that. It's safer, but you don't have to. So it'll work on anything. Okay. Great. Absolutely. You know, the thing is, bad guys, we think of bad guys sometimes as being ignorant or being stupid. They're not. And that's the main thing people have to remember. These guys are very smart. When they see a lock, when they see an alarm, when they see something, that doesn't scare them. They don't see it as a deterrent. They see it as a challenge. And they rise up to meet that challenge. So we, too, have to rise up, meet them. And you do it every year. year if you're Bob, super great to have you. Thanks to the My door pleasure. store for the wonderful door. We'll be right back. Coming up.